Hello YouTube, Blue Matona here with episode 3 of Let's Play Rome Total War as Carthage. Uh, quick, <laughs> big thank you uh, to user on YouTube Spinspur, Spinspear, not 100% sure how to pronounce that, but um, they let me know that I, I, I was not, I didn't have my resolution right uh, for this game. So I mean, if you look at the first two episodes, like I think the screen cuts off basically where like Thapsis is, and then... Like, over here on this side, it's much more of a square, so I was able to get a nice, better resolution. I can see so much more of the map at once now. I mean, I can see all the way from Carthage, uh, all the way over to Greece. Um, it's just awesome. It's, it's so much better. Uh, so huge thank you to that. And, without further ado, let's jump right in. So, we left off last time with the, uh, conquest of Croton here, the, uh, you know, broody eye classic, uh, city. Um, I do have a huge force. Uh, this force is, is sizable, um, especially with the heavy cavalry. Uh, it's just mowing over these early Roman troops, uh, you know, the Hastati and, and whatnot. And, you know, I don't know to what extent um, the Brutii or the Julii in the north, other Roman factions, have expanded. Um, but their death, this, this strategy of just immediately rushing them through Sicily and up the Italian peninsula uh, is working like a charm. Um... So in this episode, I do want to get, let's get, uh, we're going to go ahead and get um, forces together to start expanding a little bit more through the Africa region, and we can connect our provinces here, and then, you know, eventually we'll be moving in Spain as well, as we actually do have a pretty sizable force uh, here in the uh, Iberian Peninsula. It looks like I lost my watchtower here. Yeah, brigands have controlled it. So that's that rebel Mighty force. Um, I know we were walking out with this army here. We got some nice cavalry. Strong cavalry. Um, we'll definitely add the unit of infantry in. From Carthage, we can drop that tax rate slightly. And it's going to link up with nobody, because that's... We don't have anyone else here. Was I going to just go after this force with just the general here and a little bit of infantry? Maybe? Um, I think I would probably want a little bit more than that. I might train up some guys over here in Sicily and ferry them over. Um, okay. So we are being blockaded here by the Broody Eye. It's a three-ship fleet. We Ready have two sail. here. Let's go ahead and let's just knock that block uh, that blockade off. Yeah, should victory. be a nice victory. And then here we can... Let's get these guys in the ships port. Yes, my and uh, just go ahead and retrain the ships while they're here. We can even add one more onto that navy. I think we're, we're pretty alright uh, population-wise uh, in this region for now. We can up the tax rate ever so slightly here. That should be fine. And then here, yeah, we could probably... Mm, I don't like 75, it's kind of low, but we're going to bump that up a little bit as well. That that makes us a lot of money. Uh, oh, basically 200 uh, additional ducats. And here it's all the way up already. And I do want to get this city to 6,000, um, but it is, you know, a nice city to pump out some troops in. So uh, we might just kind of go ahead and do that. Uh, I need to get some more troops back over to uh, mainland Africa so I can start expanding. The issue with this re this whole area, this, this North Africa region of the map, is that there's three cities. Uh, these three, and I think actually there's a fourth city down here somewhere um, that's controlled by the rebels right now. And so it just takes forever to move around, especially when they're not roads or, or you know, any other um, anything like that built. Uh, and I don't know if I want to, you know, I just don't want to, like, you know, once you move a, a force out, it's really hard to maneuver them back and, and get them where they need to be, especially if rebels pop up. It's such an annoying region, but we'll, we'll get there and we'll, we'll take it and, uh, and go from there. So I think we can immediately um, keep moving forward here with our, uh, with our army. And we could, I think maybe we leave Hasdrubal, or Hasdrubal for the time being. Maybe here in Croton, and we can take the Aegis out, but this city doesn't like me too much. We've got the Governor's Palace going. Uh, we're retraining some cavalry units here, um, but we're not building anyone new. Um, that is because I don't want to drop below the sixth step. Can I do this? Mm, this keeps being built. Okay. So long as that is, I can still build the Governor's Palace the next level up, then that's fine. I might, I'll might i wait a turn or two before I move that... Um, before I move that force forward as well. We're, I think we're going to be projected to not make too much uh, money here. So let's see, what where needs buildings? Definitely 
want to keep my capital building. I mean, just the sewers. Maybe I build in here in Thapsis. I get the next temple going, or... Um, yeah, I have plenty of time here. Let's train Iberian infantry there. And I'd love to get the blacksmith, but I don't have enough money. Um, we'll go ahead and we'll get the next level of the temple. And I think that's pretty much all we got to do for this turn. Let me just make sure I'm not missing anything really quick, because it's been about a week since I played. Alright, yeah. We have some of our... Uh, Garrison forces, everything kind of, everyone kind of accounted for. Yeah, just the one fleet right now, and eight. Oh right, agents. All right, spies and proton. We can go ahead and move this guy north. And I see that only is a forty-nine percent chance to get into the settlement here. That's surprising. I thought this this guy's pretty good. Expert spy has the courtesan. Uh, what about just maybe do that? Scope out uh, an army, and then we'll move into the city next turn. Yeah, it's not too well defended. Is that their new faction leader? No, that's just a family member. Okay. And then, um... We had the... Whoops, don't need family tree. But I know we had the agents. Yeah, we got the guy here. Go ahead and move Oh, there's the settlement. I knew there was one up there. Um, looks like... Wow, Numidia is all the way over here. Um, yeah, so the Numidians of North Africa also actually own the this region as well. Uh, I'm not sure if they start with that or not. Maybe they do. But sure seems to be pretty uh, pretty big for them. Uh, Gaul is going here, attacking that yes, rebel settlement. That makes sense. That's a very strategically move, important settlement. Um, because it guards this pass that connects into northern Italy. Um, so I'm going to use this guy to just kind of check out what's going on over here. What the Julii are up to, etc. And let's move on to turn next turn. Rudii are spying on me. I mean, that makes sense. They, they should be. Really long animation for the spy there. Greek cities with diplomat. There, okay, so there was riding in Syracuse, and that's really annoying because it was blue. I'm not sure why it, it dropped uh, down to red. Uh, very, very frustrating. Just got to spend money on that. Did not want to do that. That was pretty dumb. Um, if you're watching and you're trying to learn how to play this game, don't do that. Don't do what I just did. Uh, but good. Molybium got its port. Masana got its trader. Um, that's very good. Uh, this, this, yeah, this city's going to be making a lot more money now. Um, nice 517 trade income with that port. Love it. Okay, let's take... We got our, uh, yeah, Bomacar, 19-year-old led army. Forward. There's the rebel force. It's just the three units. Maybe that's why I did that. I wanted to make sure he would gain the command experience. Let's go ahead and let's attack that force. Just don't get to him this turn. That's kind of annoying. Okay. Not too big a deal, though. Uh, let's keep getting just some some infantry going here. What do we want to train up in Carthage? I mean, elephants are tempting, but I really don't think I need them for the time being. I think, honestly, let's just keep up with the uh, with the units, uh, regular units. Maybe we, we up to the next level of barracks, and we can train some higher level infantry here in uh, in Carthage itself. And then Lilibium finished its ports. Um, we ha don't have a shrine here yet. I'm thinking of maybe doing the uh, increased tradable goods one. Um, farm in this region, farming in this region is pretty good. Uh, why don't we do the increase in tradable goods and just keep this trade income just kind of boosting up, you know? It's, uh, it should be a nice kind of a nice trade region. That's that's fine. Uh, we don't need to worry too much about farming um, there, I don't think. And then, yeah, because if, if, if you look here, yeah. Hmm. Maybe we do farming. I'm, I'm kind of debating it. Population's low. You know what? Let's do the farming boost. Uh, we'll get the extra um, population growth. A little bit of extra public order. Yes, that's fine. We'll do that. Uh, Masana. What do we want? This is more of a border town. Can't really recruit anything. We can get some cavalry going there. Uh, let's keep them... We'll keep working up the happiness scale uh, here. Yeah. With the temple. Wow, I, I'm really low on funds pretty quickly there. And... Yeah, I guess we can... We don't need to build anything there yet. So that's fine. Okay. Uh, Palma, I mean, it's just still kind of isolated out here as a port. It's growing. I mean, you know, I could lower the tax rate. It's really not that much. Just lower the tax rate a little bit. And then finally over here in Corduba... You know, maybe I can go ahead and expand uh, in towards the Spanish. 
Um, why am I not getting any view from this wa these watchtowers here? It doesn't seem quite right. Yeah, this is the better commander. Maybe we get a force going. Maybe we uh, maybe we start expanding in this region. That could be uh, you know take on Spain. That that's that's probably a smart call. So let's let's go. We're gonna immediately move over this way, and we can take uh, both units of cavalry with you, infantry. Can I just take and the slingers. Cordoba's not gonna like me at the high tax rate, but we can bump that down. Then. And then I do want to build up a militia ba uh, barracks there, and I went with. I want this food farm production here, too. That's fine. We'll up that. Okay. Um, that's fine. I can't really train any worthwhile troops here. So, yeah, we're going to go ahead and get moving uh, towards Carthago Nova. It's going to take a couple turns to get there. Maybe we'll pick up a mercenary unit on the way. Um, Spain is... Ooh, Spain landed in... Oh, I don't, I don't have the navy to take these guys on here. Yeah, they have the long boats, right? They're just boats. Yeah, this is a this is a better. I think that's a better ship unit than mine. I got sick. Attack is the same. Oh no, my defense is actually a little better than boats. Okay, boats isn't that bad. Or boats isn't that good. Um, no, I actually have a trade route going all the way up north there. But no, I don't. Uh, I know they're allies, but that's okay. I, we're gonna have to train some guys up in Cordula. That's for sure. And then this force is gonna be ready to go in a second here. Let's go pick up. Uh, the troops yes, from the Libyum. Go ahead and move into the ship, please. They're still happy enough. I and then we'll take this force, and yeah, we can we can actually just drop them off. We'll move down yes, south, and we'll drop Lord. them off down Most south. Depleted. Add some extra Sire. ships in just to help uh, protect for the time being. And yeah, um, we'll do a quick. Whoops, clicked in the wrong spot. Quick You're movement with these guys. How's a Riminum suggested doing? That's Julii. That's still Gaul. Okay. And then over here. Yes, mighty lord. I want you to just get I want to get towards Egypt. That is the plan. Let's try to get trade rights uh, over there. Because we're not gonna come into conflict with them for quite a while. Um, as for the spy, now chance of success is hundred, so let's go ahead and move into Tarantum. And next turn. Alright, Julia, I have sieged Medialanum. Been in the wars. Plus two to your general's bodyguard hit points. That's nice. Alright, Roxanne, 20. This guy's young, you know, 24. Um, Roxanne's 6. I mean, you know, she'll have other options. He doesn't have any command, management, or influence. Really not great. Let's. I don't want to be too picky, but I just feel like I don't really need the extra general right now. So we're going to decline. Um, it's fine. City expands. Carthage, great. Love it. Up to 12,000. And we can build the uh, Counselor's Chambers there, which is the next level up in an almost a huge city. Construction before. It's just a bunch of temples. Nothing too crazy. We've got our recruitment and our Diplo information. Okay. Uh, this force here... Let's continue you going towards uh, Carthago Nova, and maybe, I'm thinking maybe just pick up a Barbarian Merc. 200 upkeep, though. That's, that's steep. No, that's not worth it. Um, this force is definitely going to be enough to take the settlement. Uh, here, though, I just, before I, I don't want to mess up the financial side of it. Let's just, we've got to get a barracks going there. we got to be able to train uh, some troops, and let's get another ship going as well. Um, I would imagine that this town is under siege by Spain right now, which is good for me in the sense that their army's there, um, but it's bad for me in that they're kind of sitting right on my doorstep if I can't defend the Attack! coast with my navy. Um, all right, so we got our watchtower back, and let's uh, let's just press in. Let's go take these guys out. Alright, start deployment. Should be a pretty straightforward fight. What do they have? Oh, is it literally just mob? Oh, I'm not gonna gain any experience for this one. That's that's really too bad. No command stars for you. Uh, what, who is this guy? I forget his name. Um, but yeah, we can just, just screw it. Who cares? We don't need strategy for this. We'll take these two units of cavalry and, and just loop around the side. But definitely, uh, we can just go ahead and hit this force uh, head on with most of them. Yeah, I want you to go there, and then charge in. You guys go to where you're going, and then charge in on that back unit. All these three in the front, just go straight in. And this this should be a devastating 
uh, charge from these guys. All right, go ahead and charge in. Go ahead and hit the middle skirmishers. Yeah, there we go. It's just it's just an immediate route. I didn't even really need to send these guys around the side. They weren't even running. Um, everyone's routing, nice and easy, quick and easy. And we can just go to speed three. And that that might be the fastest battle I've ever fought uh, in this game. Honestly, I can't think of anything quicker. Um, they'll just finish wrapping up. Come on, guys. Come on now. There you go. All right. Nice and easy. I did lose six guys. No experience gains. Pretty typical. You know, small. Not. Uh, you know, not not really serious fight. Oh, did we did we get? We got a Galloper. Okay, so he didn't gain a experience for being a commander because that was too lopsided of a battle. Or he didn't gain the trait, but he did get plus one command when attacking. Uh, maybe because I just did everything with the cavalry. Uh, so that's okay. Uh, we will work on helping out that command. Um, I might want to just go take this town first before... Yeah, let's just go and we'll send them over that way. Um, we can leave those troops there for the time being. We'll go ahead and... Uh, come down here with our navy. Aye, Looks like Numidia is kind of going for it. Yes, mighty lord. No we'll see what happens there. This might be when I, event, when I end up attacking mighty. Numidia. Um, and just to, you know, prep for that, we're going to keep continuing to just train up some troops here. It's going to be putting an increasingly heavy financial strain on me. I mean, I'm not even constructing buildings, which just means I need to capture more settlements, right? That's that's basically uh, how this game works, and it's, it's kind of what the Romans did in real life, right? We just had to keep expanding. Um, Alright, we're going to finally make a move here. Let's take the Aegis out of the city. Um, it's already on low tax rate, and they really don't like me. Can I take, like, half my army, at least? No. I cannot. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and let's get some peasants in. Uh, just for town, uh, public order purposes, but for the time being, I, oh, do I really have to leave this many guys back just to keep this uh, city from revolting? Okay. You can go put uh, Tarentum under siege, and it is actually open, the gates. Um, what are the details on Tarentum? 7,000 population, really negative income. I would assume that's because the Brudii basically have no cities and a large army, uh, So it's, and it's the population's high compared to... Apollonia, so this is taking the brunt of the uh, payments for the army of the city. Um, they got a little bit of war dogs. Shouldn't be too much of a threat. I mean, I mean, it's not a you know, it's not a complete. It's not gonna be a complete wipeout, but should be able to do it. And Governor's Bill, uh, they got four. All right, I think we just, uh, I think we just go for it. You know, this is uh, I'm actually not favored here in this fight. Um, but hey, I got my best general, so you know what? That's what we gotta do, right? Victory is near at hand! Alright. Uh, we're gonna have to get some strategy going here, so let's... I want my infantry coming in one side. I want the cavalry... Might... I don't know if I want them all coming in from one side. Let's do two on one side, two on the other. See if we can't puncture in that way. And how do they have this set up? This is Velite's. Immediately go and charge on them. And this is Astadi. Immediately go and charge in on them. And then here we have a... Just, just go. Just everyone charge in. War dogs, go take them out. Yeah, we're gonna, pu we're gonna punch in from three directions at once. Use my cavalry against these troops that cavalry are really, really good against. And then hope the infantry uh, I want to take out the at least the one unit of war dogs. That'll free up my cavalry a very good enough. They're already routing nice and easy. These guys in here, yeah, they took they took some hits from that Hastadian. Definitely, that Hastadian's way more of a fight against cavalry than a, a Velite's unit is, but um, a fight that they will uh, they will win uh, absolutely. And the Velite's unit, I think, was just fully beaten already. Oh no, still one left. Come on, finish him off. How's it going over here? Okay, this Astadi unit's putting up a nice fight. Um, they're gonna... I'm gonna win this fight, but doing a lot of damage. And then here we go. Yeah, okay, so we got one unit of dogs that are gonna be taken out here. And then there is the Astadi unit that they're gonna need to fight, too. Let's get in, get in after that Astadi, please. How's this fight going? Alright, the Astadi finally routed over here. The cavalry's gonna chase them down slightly. Um, and then take them out. And just go ahead and form up. Same with these guys over here. 
let's just go ahead and let's let's form up at uh you know points here where we're gonna be moving to attack the center. I thought they had two units of dogs. Where's the second unit of dogs? Oh, this is not going well. Alright, you know what? That's not going well at all. We need some cavalry support here. Let's get the cavalry in. Oh wait, they're going the wrong way. No, no, no. Shoot. That way. That way, please. Yeah, we need a uh, we need a cavalry hit here uh, to help them out. So let's go ahead and let's get uh, let's get some cavalry looping around the side. Yeah, my Iberian infantry is not doing too hot. That's for sure. Come on, guys. Come on, let's get there. Come on. All right, please go and charge in on that Hastati. All right, how are they doing? Doing still just kind of. They're all right. They're starting to get a. Alright, they're doing better. I forgot how bad these guys can be against the Stadi units at one-on-one. -on -one. You got the generals, that the general's bodyguard hanging there? Yeah. Alright, but here comes the cavalry. A bit of a cleanup force coming in. Yeah, go ahead and hit the war dogs first. There we go. Now go and, and hit the Stadi, please. And this should break them. Uh, cavalry now coming in from behind, sandwiching them. Yeah, there they go. That's going to break them. Alright, so a lot of damage to my Iberian infantry, but that's that's okay. It's not the end of the world. Cavalry, just finish off that unit of Astadi, please. Go ahead and even finish off that War Dog unit. I think there's another in the city center. Yeah, there is. Okay. I've got my general sitting there. Cavalry, go, go and follow them, please. Let's go, guys. Do they, do they not want to run? Let's what is going on there? Not too sure. Alright, why don't you guys just go that way? Yeah, that's mostly taken out. Now, please turn and let's not engage the city center yet. You guys are going to get destroyed if you do that. Alright. Infantry force. Please start making your way up into the city. That would be great. Cavalry. Yeah, go link up over here and then there these guys yeah just get up here they're a little gassed they're tired but that's okay not the end of the world um we're gonna definitely want to get into this city center these dogs are so annoying for cavalry um we'll go ahead and have my general start walking towards that position and infantry yeah they're tired but they are uh advancing into position so that's fine all right, and these are all the Roman troops left. Uh, hold up a second. Are they... Okay, I thought maybe they were going towards my cavalry here. And we have that unit of war dogs. Two guys coming at me. Bold move. Uh, not going to work. How's the cavalry over here doing? Where's the rest? All right, they're coming. They're exhausted or very tired. That's fine. You guys can just start walking uh, into here. Please... Everybody just walk into position. Let's uh, let's regain a little bit of the exhaustion that's happening here. Uh, are they? They're not. They're not. No, they're not nearly in range to throw the spears. That's okay. Everyone's walking up. Yeah, these guys are still tired, but it's okay. We're all we're all getting into position. Really? Well, this is a suicidal charge. Look at these guys go. <laughs> Classic. Take them out. Take them out, guys. There we go. All right. No, they 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 look brave. That's for sure. All right, you guys, let's get you in the position, please. Yeah, we're gonna. I want to. I want to cue the dogs to charge my infantry. That is, um, that is the goal here. So I'm gonna just kind of send the infantry in. Yeah, go ahead. I'm gonna do this kind of strategy. Infantry. I just want to cue the dogs. The ones that see the dogs moving at them, I will. Uh, I will send in the cavalry. Alright, cavalry, actually, the dogs aren't moving, so cavalry, go hit that general that's gonna wreak some havoc on my troops if I don't. There we go. Surround the Roman general. Nicely done. I'm surprised they're not committing the infantry in yet. Um, sometimes they don't do anything until someone crosses the plane of the city center. Uh, oh, a lot of my troops routed right there. Oh, shoot. Those are my guys, Rowdy, not theirs. Oh, no. Oh, boy. Okay. Did not expect that. 
did not expect that whatsoever. Um, that's really, that's bad. I, I thought I was going to uh, for sure be able to take those guys out. Um, we're going to get the rest of my cavalry here. I need to take out this general. I need to take him out bad. Uh, inspire, please. To get any troops back. Yeah, alright. The war dogs are going after that cavalry unit. That's fine. I just didn't want them coming in on these guys. We need to take out this Roman general. We're about to. We're about to take out this Roman general, but it's become quite a slog, that's for sure. Uh, war dogs are cha running away, chasing away, which is literally ideal. I think it's just the general left. He's, he's got to be taken out. Come on. There we go. Alright, general's down. Uh, everyone now, please charge in on that unit of Hastati. Uh, my general, bodyguard, and other cavalry, you don't need to do the brunt of that fight. Just kind of pull out of there a little bit. Infantry, go ahead and engage the Hastati, please. Alright, that was a, a slog of a fight. Absolute slog of a fight. There we go. Get that nice charge in on the infantry and... Uh, yeah, this Astadi unit is pretty much surrounded. They're not going to uh, not going to be able to do too much here. Unfortunately, look at this. All the way out here, the dogs have just chased my routing unit of cavalry. Completely taken them out of the fight, which is huge. And then, yeah, this Astadi unit down to 15 guys. About to get the win on them. There we go. And we can end the battle there. The enemy like dead before you. Okay. Um, a lot of my cavalry gained experience, but man, did I take some casualties. Right, that, was, that was pretty heavy. Pretty heavy casualties, that's for sure. Victory is ours, All right, took Tarentum. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I want to uh, do anything here with the population. Um, I do like... I want to make this, like, my area, you know? Um, I don't want to just, like, take out the whole population of the place. Let's just occupy and we'll do our best to make it work. Yeah, it's going to be tough. We'll get some peasants in here for public order purposes. Uh, how much would a temple cost? Just 400? Alright, I should be able to make that up somehow. We don't need to, like, retrain one unit of, of the cavalry. Um, and we're just going to go for the strictly public order uh, tree there. Alright, Thiegis gets uh, decorated here a 20% discount on unit training costs. That's nice. And trait increase. He's superior commander now, so just base plus three command stars. And this guy is just getting better and better, uh, no doubt about that. We'll train the ones, or retrain the ones that need it the most first. Um, oh my gosh, I'm blockaded again. All right, that's just that's not a threat. Take that out. Get back to the port. I was thinking about maybe pulling some men here. Syracuse um, up to uh, up to tar up to the Italian Peninsula. Maybe peasants too, and yeah, we can we can take them this way. We'll we'll get them up there next turn. Yes, mighty lord. All right, the Libyum, you guys need to be happier. Uh, but now they're on very high tax rate. We can bump that down one. That's not the end of the world. Uh, okay. Yeah, that force is doing its thing. You're on auto move, right? Yeah, he's on auto move. And here in the north, it's a broody. I could actually now go for peace with broody eye. Um, I don't need to expand across that way. So let's see what I, what I can do here. Um, if I want to cease fire, uh, let's also. I want to reg. I mean, I've been dominating them. I want a regular tribute of like fifteen hundred for ten turns. Let's see if I can't do that. No, they don't want to do that? Alright, what about just like a ceasefire for a, uh, like, single payment here? Let's see what we can get. Let's see what we can get done. Alright, they're not interested. Are they, I mean, are they not interested in just a ceasefire in general? Like, for trade rights, map information, all that jazz? No, they don't want a ceasefire whatsoever. Uh, that's surprising to me. Um, I would have thought that that would be something they would that would appeal to them, but okay. So each their own. You, sir, we're going to move down here and towards the Macedon uh, and Greece area. But yeah, we can go down the coast. We can go down the coast. That's fine. Down the coast of what? What's it? Adriatic, right? 
Um, alright, and then we can take our spy. Okay, there's a force here. Not really a threat. And then there's the other, uh, Skippy Eye city. Capital. Alright, next turn. Skippy Eye, we have a big force. Ooh, okay. Big army there. Uh, looks like the Julia got a big win right there against, um, one. against Gaul. And yeah, we made some good money that turn. We got a, you know, Tarantum's a valuable settlement. Um, a lot of recruitment, a lot of retraining. We're gonna have to start, you know, getting some, uh, funds here for, uh, <clears throat> uh, for buildings. And then, okay, this is great. The coming of age here, uh, Basaltes, um, is in Croton, which is basically right where I want him. That's perfect. Uh, he's testy, uh, minus one influence, but a plus one to command, and good looking plus one influence. So his influence is zero, his command is one. Okay. Now, we can go ahead, yeah, you, sir, can move up the Tarantum. Go ahead and let's get the public order help, uh, up there that we need. Um, this fleet here, we'll go ahead and drop off the peasants into Croton, and then the, uh, rest of the army. Oh, I already did it. Yeah, I already did it. They are dropped off into Tarentum. Uh, we got a small force right here uh, of unknown unit types, and I, I do want to keep... <clears throat> I want to keep this spy over here, because this is a large force of Stadi and looks like some mercenaries. But why don't we go ahead and we can pop out of the city. I could get, try to get Basaltes some uh, experience here. And actually, I think I'm going to do that. So let's take Basaltes, take a unit of cavalry and a unit of infantry, and just go hit that small force, and, uh, get him a command star. A permanent command star. You know, he's a young general. We wanna build him up, get him going. Victory is near at hand! Alright. Let's see what they got. Oh, they set up up the hill. Should've guessed that. Um, we got a Equites, and an Hastati. Alright. All my men. Let's go up here. Go ahead and walk it. We're gonna speed up real quick. Any second now. Come on, guys. There we go. Alright, yeah, just move up and we'll take, uh, yeah, well, the infantry unit in the front there in sort of an enveloping line and we'll keep the cavalry together, keep them as a strong force. Alright, there they go. Alright, they're moving a little bit over there. Looks like they thought about attacking and then decided against it. Let's go ahead and let's just get my uh, infantry unit moving that way. And uh, as they do, we'll get my cavalry coming around the flank here. Yeah, this, I mean, this shouldn't be too, this shouldn't be a hard fight. I just uh, try to minimize losses. Alright, they took the initiative, which I didn't expect, and charged my infantry unit. Didn't expect that at all. So we'll go ahead and we'll hit their unit now with our guys from behind, and they immediately routed. Uh, so then go ahead and turn on to the Equites. So much for minimizing casualties, huh? Definitely didn't do that, that's for sure. Alright, you guys, there we go, there's their captain. He's down. You guys can just kind of chill. We don't need you for anything anymore. Um, I mean, I don't think we're going to be able to catch them, but you can try. I want the general going on uh, after the troops here themselves. Yeah, we're not going to be able to catch them. They're about to leave the battlefield. Okay. Let's see if this army disbands or if it uh, it stays there. Any experience? No. Nothing. Not enough, not enough fighting to, to gain experience from that, unfortunately. Alright, good. The enemy army did completely disband, it looks like, and I did get that, uh, trade increase, confident commander, uh, for my nice young general, which I love, and then you guys can go back into Tarnson here between, uh, between turns. Um, okay. So, let's finish the retraining, uh, let's get another unit of peasants here, uh, for public order purposes, a lot, same with here, that's really all I need them for. Um, okay, we can actually build stuff now, uh, with... You know what? Actually, hold up. We got a large army on our uh, on our doorstep here. We're gonna get some more infantry. Um, all right, we can actually build some stuff here, uh, which is great. Um, I would love to get yeah get the governor's palace going. 
uh, you can see here in Croton, once, once I finish the Governor's Palace, I mean, not only did I upgrade or unlock the next uh, level of buildings, but it also, the culture penalty is down to 20. Um, it's really helped. Whoops, come on, there we go. With the culture penalty, whereas here it's still 45 in Tarantum. So we'll do the Governor's Palace for sure in Tarantum. And then here in Croton, um, I mean, Shipwright could be great. Trade will be up to almost a thousand if I do that. This is such a valuable province. Um, the mines also would be just a base plus 200 income from the mines, not to mention the trading income that I gained from that. Uh, but again, I am watching the current situation. These are frontier towns on the front lines of, uh, of the war. Um, and I'm thinking maybe going the military route might be the right way to do this here. Uh, as much, you know, so I think I'm going to go for the city barracks next. Uh, despite, I hate how expensive it is. Um, but you know what, what, what can you do, right? What can you do? Um, how much movement? They can't, yeah, they can't get the Tarantum in one turn. That's all that matters. So here, yeah, I hate to keep doing this, but you know what? We're just going to, we're going to, I was really excited to not have to spend my money on, uh, training, but actually, um, never mind. That's exactly what we're going to do. Uh. Okay. Yeah. All right. So this is where we're gonna end up getting in the conflict Move with out. Namidia here. Um, we can actually pick up yes, this force next turn. We'll go ahead and just combine that, and we'll pick up this force next turn with the ships and sail them down there. I should have done that in the first place. Uh, we'll get another infantry unit going. Um, yeah. And then here we can start. See, this is what I was worried about. Spain is not a pushover. They have very good troops. Um, but I would love to get some sort of expansion going over here in the Spanish Peninsula, in the Iberian Peninsula. So you know what? Screw it. Let's go for it. We'll get the battering rams going. This force can't reinforce quick enough. Um, yeah, we need to, we're going to have to get some troops recruited over here sooner rather than later. Um, all right. Good turn, I think. Let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Yep, just some quick auto moves. Grudii doing their thing. Scipii, their force state. Looks like they're in a defensive posture with that force, so uh, that bodes well for me. One, that's for sure. Um, depleted, sir. Where's the other guy? Here he is. Yeah. Your humble servant. Move you down the coast. What do we have here? Brudii diplomat again. All right. Maybe the Brudii took the settlement that's up here. I see there's some mines there. Um, Alliance announced. Dacia and Scythia. A lot of recruitment, as you guys know. You watched me do it. We have a new family member. Nice. And Theatocles is a herbalist. Increased chance of having children. And casualties recovering from their wounds. That's great. We're back to the most advanced faction. And end of term report. We lost some money. Um... Okay, see, this force came out of nowhere. See, I, I might lose Corduba. Um, I mean, I'm tempted to just break the siege and run back, but I'm not going to be there for three turns. Prepare for battle. I guess we may as well take the city. Prepare for battle. Yeah. All right, we're just gonna keep pressing. We're gonna keep pushing here. I didn't think they were gonna have a force that lands right next to me that quickly. I was wrong. I mean, that's why I wanted to take it easy in Spain. I, I knew this could have happened, and I just, I pushed it. I was confident with the, how it's going in Italy, and I pushed my luck, and uh, might come back to, uh, to haunt me here. I mean, we'll take Cordoba back, right? Uh, you know, that's, I'm not super worried about that. It's just, uh, it's going to be a setback if they do take it, that's for sure. What do we have here? We have some Peltists, we have some town militia and a general's bodyguard, and then up in the city center, Peltists. Alright. Yeah, we'll get my guys up here, go ahead and just knock the walls down, and then push into the city. First, I think this is the first time this uh, this campaign we faced a, you know, barbarian style uh, settlement. Um, it's kind of, you know, the more circular one here. So, that's fun, at least. Your, your yeah, okay, so my slingers, I mean, they're not going to have an angle here, right? Because the slingers are a... 
you know, they're, uh, they, they fire, like, straight on. They don't, they don't lob. They don't loft like a, like a, uh, Velite would, right? So, I mean, I'll check, but I don't think the Slingers have an angle. Um, but they are on fire at will, so we'll see what, uh, we'll see what they end up doing here. Yeah, they're not gonna have an angle. That's what I thought. Oh, wait, some of the Slingers... These guys are... Oh, they're shooting way in at the General's bodyguard. Oh, I like that. Nice long toss. I mean, they're not killing any, but... Better than nothing, I guess. Yeah, okay, so they, when they have an angle, they can they can use... They can use the Slinger. The, the Slings. Okay. Why don't you guys go ahead and charge in? The cowardly enemy cannot hide! You have breached the walls! Yeah. Your men have taken the walls. All right, guys, let's now push in the, the city as well, please. Is clear. Yeah, Slingers actually did some nice damage there, I think. Um, all right, first the slog fight is right there, and then here the Peltis. Infantry should be able to knock them out, no problem. Let's get my uh, let's get my cavalry set up in here. You know what? Okay, they're they're rowdy already. Yeah, go ahead and. Cavalry get set up. Slingers get set up. And infantry units get positioned right behind them. We'll get a nice little formation going here. Just get everyone inside. I think the cavalry uh, messed up here. Go ahead and just charge. Cavalry, you can just go ahead and charge the uh, skirmishers, the Peltis. Take them out. Come on. There we go. Slingers. Yeah, I feel like I'm forcing myself to use the Slingers. We don't need you. Just get the hell out of here. Slingers are better for an open field battle, not as much a city fight. Uh, infantry, let's get you up uh, advancing. You want you guys to sprint into position, please. Come on. Go. And run. Why does that unit not want to run? Come on. There we go. Alright. Cavalry. We might be able to just finish this off with just the cavalry. I mean, we probably will, honestly. We'll get them in the position here. Here they come. You know, doing their weird pathfinding thing for a barbarian encampment. That's typical, classic Rome Total War. You gotta love it. Oops, no, I don't want the Slingers. I just want these guys. Slingers, you guys can just, just halt and stick where you are. Alright. You all, go ahead and charge the skirmishers. You all, just go ahead and charge the general's bodyguard. And we'll end this one pretty quickly. Yeah, alright. Just, just, if you guys are going to be annoying, just go ahead and just charge them. I was going to try to kind of flank around the side, but... That's alright. They, they're going to do that a little bit themselves anyway. And then here's the infantry. Infantry coming in. Really nice and slow. If you guys want to speed it up a little bit. There you go. That'd be great. But, uh, no, this is going to... Just be a little bit of a, a cavalry slog. Let it we'll let it wind down here. I mean this is this is not gonna last too long. There goes their general, and then leave the general fallen, and battle is done. Alright, hopefully uh, I don't take too much of a hit here in Spain. Um Victory! by uh, by doing this. Oh, I should have looked at the stats of the city before going in. Right, we'll occupy. They don't like me. We can repair the wall. Um, and we're going to get actually, yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take their shrine to Epina. Uh, I like the shrine, but I can't upgrade it. So we're going to uh, demolish that shrine. And then we'll, we'll up uh, and, and build our own. Jeez, that is a, that is a loud um, animation. Uh, not animation. Uh, you know, uh, sounds for, you know, demolishing something. Uh... Base farming regions, not great. Base trade is okay. What what trade region? Uh, trade resources do we have in the region? Uh, nothing much. Maybe maybe just this. Um, yeah, we'll go ahead and just do the base uh, shrine to ball. Um, I'm gonna lose Cordoba. I don't want to lose the family member that's in Cordoba. Um, that would be. I don't want to lose the general in the process. 
Uh, so we're gonna just kind of retreat him uh, out for the time being, and then we'll link up with a with a force to to come back and uh, you know retake the city. We'll train up some guys here and get that going. I, I, I definitely overextended in Spain. Um, I basically need two full armies in Spain to be effective, not not just the uh, not just the one. Um, I guess I could have. Now that I think about it, hired just like all these mercenaries. I, I don't, even then, I don't know if I would have been able to win that fight. Um, those mercenary units are expensive and they're not that good. Um, we'll go ahead and take these guys on the ship. Ship, get into position down here. Um, yeah, my army. Just, can I attack the Numidians uh, immediately? Prepare for battle. No. All right. I need one more turn. That's fine. I mean, I'm basically just sitting right next to them. This is now a little bit of a hot zone. Uh, what we can do Ships is we ready. can take Ships ready. Carthage. Let's get you uh, a nice unit of Cav, Thapsis, Iberian Infantry, and uh, we'll do some basic uh, buildings, communal farming. Um, I want to send some troops over to Spain. Um, I'm going to get a little fleet going and get uh, some troop transfer over to there. I think that's I think that's going to be a smart uh, a smart call. Stay, uh, you know, send go send some relief basically. Um, land clearance, get basic farms going. I mean, some of these settlements don't even have you know basic things. Um, Sewer, we throwing sewers there. I, I just want to make sure. Yeah, I'm just thinking about which ones are more valuable to build in. Go ahead and get sewers there. Let's do two sewers. That's fine. Um, all right, the forces up here, they're looking pretty solid. Uh, here's a nice fleet. Um, this is definitely the fleet for this region. And I'm thinking, do I want to go? Capo doesn't even have a port. Okay. Uh, does Apo Apollonia doesn't have a port. We can go see. Yes, mighty lord. Oh, that's okay. So that this is still Greece uh, down here. All right, that's fine. Out of moves, sire. That's good. Boy, oof, I forgot I had the elephants here. It's a big force. Okay. Uh, ch ch keep the spy positions by that army. I want to see when they move and where they go. Yeah, attacking Corduba. Oh, where is this? Oh, really? The Rebel Navy came right for me? Alright, well, I won, but... You know, it's just, uh... Yeah. Just, just annoying. More than anything else, to be honest with you. Nah, you know, got to, having to repair the fleet. Oh, there's a little Rudy I Ford up there with the uh, Titus Brutus uh, in command. Recruitment report. Yeah, we got recruitment. Construction. Um, nice, okay. Faction announcements. Marriage celebration. Nice. And Hanno... Gets Priestess of Tenet, plus one to management, and plus one to farming output. Where is... where is Hanna? Uh, is he still back in Masana? Yeah, um, this is... he's 73 now. This Priestess of Tenet, that is a really nice retinue, uh, that I would like to move. Um, if possible. Maybe I give it to Basaltis. Uh, although these are kind of like two military gems. Do I have someone young, or young-ish? who could work more as, like, a governor. Um, I mean, Thiggy's already has enough in his, in his retinue, right? Um, but we'll definitely want to retrain these guys up. I'm going to take the Salties. We're going to move you down uh, to Masana and uh, get that retinue before he uh, passes away, before my faction leader passes away. Largest faction. Masana... Oh, that town grew as well. That is great. So did Thapsis. Um, also great, awesome, love that. Uh, end of turn report, made a little bit of money, and yeah, settlement to siege. Um, so we'll see how long they hold that siege, um, but there might be an opportunity here to rescue the city. Um, I mean, I, if I'm going to do that, I need at least my good units there, right? And this town is going to hate me if I move those guys out. Um... Get some peasants going for public order purposes. They can riot for a turn. 
Yeah, let's get my fleet. We're going to pick these guys up, see if they take it a couple turns to to do that. And then maybe we could, you know, we could even hire some mercenaries here. Um, we'll get this guy back in the sort of relatively position to be able to reinforce. Maybe I'll pick up some mercenaries and move in after combining with that army. Um, yeah, that could be smart. Uh, let's get the mines going here. Um, well, it's actually kind of expensive. Uh, we'll do the next level of the temple. Keep the public order going well. Um, Carthage needs a building. Yes, you do. Academy could be really smart. Uh, I could also go up to Counselor's Chambers. I don't need to level up quite yet. Um, large Temple of Morkart. I don't know why Public Order is so tough here. I just don't understand where this... I mean, I understand the Squalor. I don't understand where this 20% unrest is coming from. Um, let's get a Sewers in there just quickly. Oh, minor thing. All right, cities. Any? What do we need buildings? Nothing else. Nothing else. Okay, so we can focus entirely on military here now with the rest of our money, uh, and we'll keep that going. So cavalry, infantry. Uh, not sure how much more we need in this region, um, but what we will do is ship and ship. That'll start the ferry process over to Spain, uh, and then here, yeah, I want these. Uh, Libyan Spearmen. Um, nice uh, force. It's going to be better. Huge upgrade over the Iberian Infantry. So the attack actually... Okay, so the attack actually goes down. It goes from 8 to 6. Um, but their defense... Or the total defense doubles. 8 to 16. Um, and it's the same upkeep cost. So these guys are a little worse on the attack, but they're not just going to melt. And they're going to be better against cavalry, too. Um, so we're definitely going to want units of those guys training. Um, and then here we'll get a peasant unit for public order purposes. And these four... You know what? No, no, no. no peasant unit yet. Oh, I, I can't train the ship? Then yeah. Um, peasant unit. Alright, I'm all over the place. Spy. We're going to get at least one spy going with us this main. Uh, that's also, uh, I think, pretty smart and a pretty good move. Um, all right, Mighty General. this force here, let us bump the Numidian army off the siege. Prepare for battle. Glorious all right, victory. war, Numidia and Carthage. Uh, they immediately retreated. It's a pretty tiny force. Prepare and we can turn battle. now and uh, attack Settlement in on this settlement. settlement. Kind of annoying I couldn't chase them down and just take out the Numidian force that was right there. But that's, that's okay. Not the end of the world. Um My liege. Ready to sail. Mighty general. Yeah, we'll do we're, we're definitely gonna move these guys. So let's get Forward. them in the position next to the fleet and see how this looks next turn now. Right, Broody Eye are up there. Yep. Gaul has Salona. Oh, okay. Oh, Roxanne, alright, a 28-year-old with a with command talents. Yeah, we'll go ahead and we'll take him. Um it's a third option I've been given for her. And he okay, Thapsis, that's a great, perfect place for him to come in for me right now. Uh starting off with this war here against uh, against the Midians. And you know what? I'm starting to think. Burris here, uh, maybe maybe you're you're gonna be a smart move. Let's get you up to Carthage. It'll help with the public order in that city a lot. Just stop being really annoying. And then Thaps Assyria, you can be our force that's going to expand through Africa. And, okay, well, let's go through these icons real quick. So, Agent found uh, in Masana from Scipii. Alright, that's fine. Agent found in Croton from Brudii also. Uh, you know, not unexpected. Um, Ready to sail! All right, my fleet here. I'm trying to pick up the general. We'll get into Masana. Uh, recruitment reports went well. Construction report went well. Okay, Julia are allied with Spain. Okay, I thought that was. I thought that said they were at war. And Spain still has the settlement under siege. It's a lot of Peltists in that army. Peltists and cavalry. Um, yeah, let's definitely get these guys. Yes, mighty lord. Into position here, yeah. We're gonna we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna work on maybe Move saving uh, saving the settlement there. Um, 
can get a Peltus unit going there. Ships ready! Ships. I guess you can kind of go back towards the port. We don't really, yeah, we don't really need to be aggressive with the ships on anything there. Um, I mean, there is this little Spanish Navy, one ship sitting there. Maybe we can go after that. Okay. Back to Africa. Let's do this fight. Let's assault in. It's been a little while since we did a fight. I was kind of itching to do one. So, finally get one in the books. Oh, I like the settlement design. It's pretty cool. Alright, we probably only need the one ram, but I guess we can move the other one up. What do they have here? Town militia. Alright, so I have no ranged units. That's fine. Um, we'll just have my... We'll have my force just... No, I and mean, this is this is just gonna be a cakewalk once once I break down the gate. Honestly, we don't even need the uh, the other guys here with the what's it called with the other ram. Uh, yeah, we got two units of uh, just rebels. They are spear units though, so I'm gonna not want to just charge my cavalry right in. Um, but we'll go ahead and just let the gate get down, get knocked down. Your soldiers and the battling ram are at the yep. gates. Yep, I know. Now I can see comes it. the test of their courage. All right, nice and quick and easy. Um, okay, general and the worst cavalry go to the left side, please. And the higher level cavalry go to the right side, please. The cowardly enemy have lost the walls. All right, and then all my infantry. You guys can just move up the middle. We'll let everybody filter in through the gate. There they go. Ooh, a lot of troops coming in. Yeah, they're almost through. There's the last stragglers making their way through the gate. Some of the guys are already in position. Alright, everyone run up, please. There we go. Alright, let's get in this town square and form a nice line. Cavalry. Yeah, cavalry just get ready to sandwich them. I don't want the cavalry leading the charge, but we can get in on the fight, obviously. Alright, here they come. Yeah. Right, there we go. Engaged. And you guys actually, let's go ahead and hit the city center so these guys uh, engage these guys too. Yeah, all the cavalry, you guys can just come in here and hit this, hit this one unit. Between the two charges, uh, two charging bonuses, it should be, uh, they should just melt. Even though they are a spear unit against cavalry. Oh, Alright, there goes the enemy general or captain or whoever it was. Um, yeah, there, you can't even see the enemy troops mixed in here with the horses. And yeah, it's gonna be nice and quick, we'll just finish it off. Super easy. Lost 25 men. And Round Shield Cavalry gained with experience Chevron. That's nice. Always good. Always useful. Alright, so we got uh, Lepsis Magna. Lepsis Magna. Occupy Settlement. And what do we want to do with these guys here? Um, let's get you a bit of command. Can pop out and hit them. They retreated. Did I see what they were? Peltis and ooh, Numidian cavalry are kind of annoying. Alright. Go hit them really quick. Take up your spears! On my orders! Alright. So yeah, this this horse unit may be a bit annoying to catch. Um, I'm gonna have this round shield cavalry. That's my fastest, lightest cavalry. Um, just immediately go after them. And yeah, the uh, general's bodyguard. You'll have no problem with the uh, peltis on your own. All right, there we go. They're, they're turning to run. They have, must have skirmish mode on. So yeah, these guys are gonna be a real pain, aren't they? This actually. Might not go as smoothly as I want it to. The, the this missile cavalry is so annoying because they're so hard to catch. They're just uh, we're gonna have to sandwich them. We'll get them. We'll push them. We'll drive them towards the edge of the map and then we'll sandwich them. It'll it'll uh, it won't be too big a problem. You guys, yeah, just go ahead and finish those off, please. 
Alright. So yeah, they're gonna turn, they're gonna hit the edge of the map here. And they're gonna turn this way. So let's go ahead and let's get my general uh, out this direction. You guys just stay on them. Keep right on them. They're gonna keep running, that's fine. General, go that way. Yeah, so we just have to sandwich them between the two units, because once we engage them in a melee, um, once they engage in a melee fight, we have them. Because, alright, are they turning? Hold up. They're turning. Alright, we're starting to get them a little bit more under control here. I just need to make sure this general team doesn't stop running. Just keep running, please. Uh, they're getting, they're still only, see, they're still only warmed up. My guys are, all, are winded already. Alright, general, just keep shadowing them here. When they turn to the right, we're gonna have to catch them, otherwise we're gonna just keep trying this until we do. There's the corner. Alright, this is where we're gonna have to get them. Alright, move in towards the corner. Alright, I think we got him cornered here. Literally. Ha! Uh, I am taking some, uh, some casualties there, but yeah, we just gotta stop their escape path. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Alright, we got them engaged. Yep, cavalry made contact. There we go. Alright, now it's just a slog, and this is where I have the huge advantage with my cavalry, and uh, we don't need to chase him. Alright, did gain some experience for uh, Bomokar here with the General's Bodyguard. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Victory and hopefully that worked as I victory. wanted it to, and he gains Confident Commander. He did. Alright, so we got some extra extra stuff there for him. Alright, I'm going to start just peppering this region with Watchtowers. Uh, should be kind of fun. Um, Alright, what do we have here? First things first, we definitely need roads in this region. Um, and, uh, yeah, I mean, this city is uh, is awful. We'll actually go to low tax rate, uh, just to keep that public order boosting up a, a little bit quicker. Um, terrible city. And the next... Oh, let's go ahead and see what the situation is over here. So, oh yeah, we already did that this turn. So I just gotta hope that they don't make a move on me uh, for the next turn. And I think, actually, we are gonna wait for that for the following episode in about an hour now. Um, we can do a quick little uh, quick little move here. Uh, just kind of get these uh, some of these troops Mighty on General. ships that are gonna be... Uh... Huh. Why can't I put them on the ship? Kind of weird. All right, on the ship. Infantry on the ship. Please just keep them nice and safe. And we'll just keep picking up, uh, picking up troops as we go here, and uh, those troops can be ferried, uh, you know, into uh, into the Iberian Peninsula where they'll be much needed. Yeah. One. What was that? What was this here that we had? State. Oh, that's just the normal stables. Oh, I guess I hadn't recon I didn't recognize the icon. Um, actually, we'll, yeah, we'll go ahead and do the management for this turn really quick, and then we'll end the video. Um, and build something here in Libyan. We can keep the farms production going. Maybe we just get let's just get communal farming. Let's do like normal farms. Get that get that pumping. Um, again, if I'm gonna have limited money, I want to spend it on cities that are where it's more valuable. Here in Tarentum, we can actually, wow, we can up the tax rate here very significantly to very high. That's awesome. They, uh, they're pretty happy, they're getting pretty happy here. Uh, again, look at this, the culture penalty down 25% once I built my own governor's palace. Um, see how it says, like, when I highlight over this, it says militia barracks, Roman, stables, Roman, port Roman, as I build the next level buildings and that becomes, you know, ports or shipwrights. Well, Carthaginian or whatever my grouping is, you know, that gets rid of the culture, um, culture penalty. Walls are appealing. Shipwrights very appealing because that's a huge upgrade to trade. So we're going to go ahead and do that. And uh, I do want to spend the remainder of my money here making sure I keep this uh, spear, Libyan Spearman, uh, Libyan Spearman training. Because that's, uh, that's like the next level up for my troops here. And then, uh, we can build the counselor's chambers. When we build the counselor's chambers, uh, we can get army barracks and get the uh, got 
Poani, Poini Infantry, Poani. Um, just a better unit of infantry. So, thanks everyone for watching. We made some good expansion uh, this camp, this uh, episode. We got Tarentum. Uh, we expanded here in Africa, and we uh, expanded here in Spain. Really, we turned what was a one-front campaign into a three-front campaign. Uh, now we're fighting in three different directions. Um, it's going to be fun. It's going to be great. Can't wait to keep this one going. Uh, as always, if you liked the video, if you enjoyed it, uh, you know, please drop a like. Um, you know, subscribe to my channel. Helps me grow. Uh, it's nice to be back making videos consistently. And um, yeah, thanks for watching. And as always, I look forward to seeing you in the next episode. Have a good one.